Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of All Nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. There's a lady here you had an incident. These are children. One died in your hands. Ever since that time, you feel trouble, trouble here and there. Come up for prayer. There's a lady who has come forth. Let us listen to her. My name is Gertrude Saili from Zambia. The man of God gave her prophets. I'm the lady who had the baby who died in my hands. An incident happened when I was uh, 25 years. I got a uh, pregnancy when I was 25 years. Then my parents, my daddy and mom, quarreled because of my pregnancy. They took me to the same man who gave me the same pregnancy. Then I stayed for nine months, not until I gave birth. After giving birth, the baby was just three months. Then she felt sick. Then my sister came and took me to the witch doctor. Then when we reached there, the same day, the baby I was watching, because I was young, I couldn't notice that the baby is dead. Then after the baby died, me, I was trying to give my baby milk. Then the baby couldn't do anything. Then I called my sister. The baby is not shaking or doing anything. Then my sister came. Then she said, no, the baby, she's dead. She died in my hands. Then my sister went and called the witch doctor. Then the witch doctor said, you can't sleep here with the dead body. You go to your village. Then we traveled the one night because it was a distance from the witch doctor. When we reached there, the following morning, they went and buried my daughter, my baby. Then from there, I felt sick again. They took me back to the same witch doctor. Then the witch doctor started to give me the medicines, whatever. Then the one night we slept there, I just felt something like someone who has just bet you. Then I didn't even see anyone in that house. I was with my mom and my niece. Then I said, let's go home tomorrow. Me, I don't want to be here. My parents took me back home. I didn't go back to the same man. The other man came, we got married. I have three children, the same man. Then we divorced. After divorcing now, the children I, I have now, there is a problem. My firstborn, he finished the college, he's a teacher. He's now four years up to now. He's not working. My second born has a cyst in a stomach. My third born is in two drugs. It was a touching incident to my sister. She used to see as if she's too breastfeeding her baby. Whenever she's seated or eating, she'll be doing like this. She'll be doing like this, or sometimes she'll be doing like this as, as if the baby, it is on her back. Remember, prophecy comes to deliver. Now the lady is receiving her deliverance in the name of Jesus Father, Christ. I command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction, out! Go! The evil spirit of killing, stealing, and destruction has been commanded to come out of her life. Watch her moving against her will under the influence of the Holy Ghost power. Be free in Jesus' name.
I just want to confirm the prophets what the man of God was saying is true. My name is Jacqueline Champa. I'm from Zambia. She's my mother. This instant, even now, she's talking about it. Because when we were making photos, which we came with them, I don't know what came over her. There's a lady which we put there. Her name is Constance. And then she was telling me that, do you know that each time I look at this lady, I remember of who? Nori, my daughter. Then I asked, who is Nori? And then she said, oh, you, you can't know because you are still young when I get birth to that child. So from all these years, I couldn't know that my mother had a child before until now when we are here making the photos. That's when she said that this girl looks like Nori. Man of God, please pray for us. We are suffering. Spirit of stagnation. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm a teacher, but no. You are free. Now the sister is being prayed for. To be delivered from every hardship in her life. In Jesus' name. Father, their children. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you for setting them free. So you didn't like the tall man? What man of God is saying is true. I didn't like the tall man. He wanted to marry me. Now after finding out that he has the wife, that's how I decided not to marry. Because I was married before, we divorced. And then the, this tall man wanted to marry me now, but I refused after finding out that he has the wife. Now you are not married? Yes. She too is being prayed for in the name of Jesus Christ. To be free from all the struggles in her life. Free from all the family curses and inherited situations. In name, Jesus. Be free in Jesus. Now no, you get a good man tomorrow. No Thank you, Jesus Christ. There's a sister, a woman in our midst. You were forced to go to marry. So the marriage was like that. But the mom and uh, the sister really made everything a laughing stock. They come out for prayer. You are seated over there. There's a lady who is coming forth, brethren. Let us listen to her. My name is Christina Cheno from Kakamega. And what the man of God has said is true. I can confirm the prophecy. I'm the firstborn in our family, the family of seven. Now, my parents decided to give me that man. But in real sense, I did not love that man. The marriage did not last. I'm just in another marriage. And with the man, I was not blessed with any child. Now you are seated, east, west, north, what can I do? Because it bothers your heart. Now you are not married. Currently I'm married, man of God. I humbly request before the church, before God, if I can just be blessed with any child, because I'm the only one in our family of seven who does not have any child. And I, I am seeing like it's a burden to me. Are you married this man with the children or? The one I'm married on now. The children, eh? Yeah. What you have said, man of God, is true. I'm married with a man with four children currently. In the mighty name of Jesus. She's now receiving a blessing of her own children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Leave. What's the reaction on her? Entire body is touched. What have you done to harm? She will not give birth. She Why? will not give birth. Why? We have tied her. We have tied her. She will not give birth. Okay, how many are you? We are ten. Oh, you are ten? Yeah, we are ten. We will not, she will not give birth. In the name of Jesus, go one by one. We will destroy is that her work. Just go. In our family, we don't go to school. In the name she of Jesus She went to school. Christ. Go. All the contrary spirits are being cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Pick up. 
But I'll thank you for baby Joseph. The boy gave him the name Joseph. Thank you, Jesus, for baby Joseph. And uh, the girl gave her the name Sarah. And baby Sarah. The Lord has given him joy. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Come, visit Kakonda Ministries. Let Prophet Kakonda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God. Healing and deliverance at the Kakonda Ministries are free.